get it. Darn it. That would have been cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello, everyone. This is Catherine. And I just want to show you my new diapers that we got today. This is one of the surprises because these are the newest Rears diapers. Came out this month. Came out this month, yeah. They're called Bellas. Yes. I'll show you. Little Bella, it says. And it's a large capacity of 4,000. 252 grams. Yeah, they fit like they're an extra large, though. We got two bags of these. Ready to show the other one? what it looks like on the inside. They are, pr they are pretty comfortable. They have um, the, the signature uh, quality uh, lip guards. Really, really nice. I'd say even, maybe even thicker because you can't even see your fingers in it. Oh, you can kind of. That's what it looks like. Yeah. The backing is, uh, this is the back of the diaper. It's really nice. It has rears on it. And it has like butterflies. Um, ribbons. Ribbons, stars. stars hearts. Hearts. Rainbows. Uh, even ice cream and even a diamond diamond which I didn't see before ice cream like she said where is it ice cream there oh right here um and horses with wings looks like butterfly wings or fairy wings something like that you guys can decide what you think um, that's good that way, and then the backing, the uh, the backing of the the, the plastic that you can uh, retape. The reinforced uh, backing, it's uh, really really nice. Um, it's not flimsy. It's really uh, on there well. And so there's no real uh, there's no real uh, danger of it uh, coming loose and sometimes as it does in other diapers this is how it does look turn around, turn around. so come here dear now as you can see, really good um, passing, or really good snug fit. Now these are a large, and usually a large, come here, wait. Usually large doesn't come this close to each other. Um, which I'm, like I said, I'm really surprised. It does go from third, uh, what's my size? Um, 96 centimeters to, 96 centimeters to 142 or 38 to uh, 49. So she could probably even, my wife could probably even wear a um, medium in these ones, which is pretty cool. And uh, we also got a changing pad. But before we show her them that, come on, I want to show. Uh, look how snug they fit. Really snug. Come on, come on. And as you can see, really supports the back. 
It does go way up the back. <laughs> uh, it's something that my wife doesn't really like. Because they, they will crinkle and everything else, make her sweat, etc. So what she'll probably do is go like this and uh, turn them over like that. So that there's air that goes in. Um, I feel that like she's already sweating now, actually. I'll probably have to put powder up there so that uh, that doesn't work, doesn't happen. But that's what um, it is. And now we have a treat for you as well. These are, this is a new changing pad. Yes. This is Little Bella's changing pad. And we have an audience right now. Hi, Middies. Yeah. The other one has been very, very sick and not very happy with mommy and daddy because we gave her her uh, pill for IBD. Oh, just irritable bowel uh, disease. It is not cheap to keep it up, but... If it will help her, that's what we want to do. So this is a very, very big um, pad, changing pad, or changing mat, or whatever you want to call it. It's a Bella. Turn on the other side there, show the. And on the other side is really white, really, s oh, really soft. Oh my Lord. Yeah. I mean, you could use this as a baby blanket to, or like a blanket or something. This is very, very nice. Yeah. And as you can tell, I can't even put it in focus because it's so big all at once. Actually, dear, can you take that and move back so that I can get a full... Uh... This one is a little squirt splash. Yeah, it's a mm -hmm. Dear, I'm going to need you to stand way back. As far as you can. Okay. There. Way back to the, maybe to the wall. So I can really get a good. Oh, okay. Um, as you can see. It is a big, big blanket. And I'm four foot nine. Yeah, and she's four foot nine. And, uh. It almost. There. I was able to zoom out. So this is no small for uh, the money that it uh, costs. It's a 30, uh, 30 something dollars, I believe. 35. The four things were 112. Yeah, the four mm -hmm. things that we got was 112 dollars. So including 20% off. Including the 20% off, yeah. Um, so. And this it, has the same. Yeah, and it has the same very soft uh, baby feel uh, blanket kind of feel. Uh, very, 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 very nice uh, quality. Mm -hmm. And it will last a long time. Yes, it will. Derek, can you get that one so they can show the full length as well? This one's the same length. So again, my wife is four foot nine, so it gives you an idea of how how big and wide it is. And it's well worth the money. And it's to me, it's beautiful. Um, it's very girly girl. <laughs> I know that. So something tells me K Hawk is he's not gonna like these if uh, his wife gets them, <laughs> especially the diapers. Uh, I think she, uh, he'll probably get his wife to uh, model them. <laughs> um, but these are really nice. And um, we thought we would uh, show you guys a treat. The medical ones that we do get, uh, they don't really last long. The ones right there. They're well made. It's just um, they tend to get really loose between... Uh, one side to the other and become really, really loose. 
We were going to get the little Bella onesies, but okay, dear. they okay. didn't have any in stock. Yeah. So the other channels will probably uh, have these uh, modeling them or reviewing them too. Um, we'll probably put one more review on. Uh, like we just put this diaper on her, so we don't know how, um, what it's gonna feel like. We don't know what it's gonna well, do. It's really comfortable, actually. Is it really soft or like what? Like yeah, so soft. Softer than most or what? Uh, don't know if softer than most, but it's really soft, and really mm. comfortable. Yeah. Oh, and they're they'll also have a certain smell to them. Um, yeah, they have a certain smell. Like a strawberry grape smell, which is um on the inside of them. Yeah, uh, and around the liner. Where the purple liner is, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, um, that is the review of the unboxing of what we got. Mm -hmm. uh, again, Merry Christmas. Uh, we will let you know how these uh, work out and um, give you our honest opinion about them. Yes. Um, Again, please share and like. Um, it really helps out the channel. Uh, share it with your friends and everything else. By the way, uh, one of the things that we want to go over. Um, we've been getting a lot of flack about this. Um, the reason that my wife wears diapers is uh, she has loss of muscles. Uh, in her bladder and kidneys, and it's made her incontinent. Some people are saying, "Well, no, it's it's not incontinence." Yes, it is. It's a very, it's the very definition of uh, incontinence, where yeah. <clears throat> I have an overactive bladder too, and she also has an overactive bladder. So those two combinations are well incontinence. Uh, some people yeah. say, well, why, you know, if it's not a fetish for us as well, why do we have bottles? Why do we, does my wife have soothers, stuff like that? Well, one, we're not saying it's not a fetish. What we're saying is it's not a sexual fetish for us. Okay, there's a difference between a non-sexual fetish and a fetish. Um, for Catherine, it has helped her... Um, deal with things in her past uh psychologically emotionally uh physically yes um and i've i've never seen her more happier uh in the 15 years i've known her uh, and, and also please no sexual comments they're gonna be removed and the person blocked from our channel when we figure out how to do it. Because this is not sexual stuff. This is real incontinence, real helping people out with the ABDL stuff. And even incontinence as well, not yeah. just ABDL. <clears throat> yeah, because we're, we're showing that there are different diapers mm -hmm. that are way better than the medical diapers. And yeah, so this is not just an information okay. channel. Or it is also an education channel as well. Yeah. And if you don't like the prints, well, they have white, purple, black. Yeah, they, even have ones on, well, they even have ones with skulls on them, if, if you're into skulls. Yeah. I think there's purple skulls, pink skulls. Definitely black skulls. Uh, black skulls uh, and green skulls, usually for Chris, uh, Halloween. So, um, yeah. So, I hope you understand. Not every ABDL is uh, sexual for. 
Um, not AB, not every ABDL is a predator or pervert or whatever you want to say. Because I mean, there's judges, there's police officers, there's military uh, officers that are ABDL, but it's helped them with PTSD. And that, actually, it's helped me with PTSD. Uh, even listening to, uh, uh, things at night, like, uh, nursery, uh, lullabies. lullabies and all that. And, um, uh, for, for that to be done, it is amazing to have that. And, um, you know, we've been dealing with a lot of stuff and because her nerves and everything's been going on this, this month with family, uh, issues, uh, causing this marriage some trouble. Um, I'm talking about outside family. <laughs> um... She's had to end up wearing a lot more diapers. She's went through a lot more diapers because of that, because of her nerves, uh, got so bad. But um, that's okay. We got we uh, settled that issue. But at least we hope it did. <laughs> you know we don't mind questions, but keep them respectful, okay? And no sexual. Yeah, no sexual perverted uh, questions, please. This is a channel that I do know for a fact that, you know, 15-year-olds, even teenage, like teenagers and stuff, see. And um, we want to keep this safe. This is a safe area for information and asking uh, questions. And be respectful to others and their comments. Don't uh, come at them about it. Yeah, and be respectful that there are teenagers that see this, maybe even some kids. And so. I bet they do see them. <laughs> uh, our channel is getting quite big. Uh, we do we have increased in uh, subscribers. So yeah, like subscribe, share, and like uh, this channel. Um. You know, there's others that will play with toys. There's others that are just diaper lovers, too. Um, I think diaper lovers are more the sexual area of it. But the ABDL area, like playing with uh, uh, toys and diapers and, you know, things like that. But, I mean, we use these changing pads because, well, we need to use them. But you see in the minor rears, we're like, okay, we got to get some um, to show people. And, yeah, they aren't uh, cheap, but for the quality, it is amazing. And it's good a good price for the quality. Yes, it is. Hey, dear, put your Santa Claus hat. <laughs> Santa Claus. Yeah, it's all that's missing. <laughs> um, Catherine really loves Christmas, so that's why I did that. Yeah, and I got this uh, one for Jeremy. Yeah, yeah, humbug. Um, and these are the kitties ones. <laughs> and if you go on uh, Catherine's Facebook, you'll see uh, pictures of it yeah. of the kitties uh, in my arms and etc. Yeah. Um. You also, people are also wondering, uh, can these um, things be bought in a regular store? No. Most stores will boycott them because they look the way they look. It um, doesn't mean that, you know, they shouldn't buy them for uh, babies. Because actually, rears do uh, sell stuff for babies, too. There's a baby line. Yes, there is. Um... And you go to rears.ca. Yeah. 
www.rears.ca. Might be a rears.com too, but I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not so sure about that one. There's rears in uh, uh, England. There's rears in, I believe, in Europe. Um, but. There might be some medical stores that will um, bring them in, but like the one we use, but. And the only store that I know of, um, there's a few stores in the States that actually has a complete area dedicated to the ABDL community. Um, I don't know exactly where they are. I think some are in um, Las Vegas. Some of them are in Arizona. Well, Las Vegas isn't Arizona, but or Nevada, not Arizona. <laughs> California. Uh, AKA California. I do believe there's some places there. Um, those of you who are in England and and Scotland and uh, Ireland and. Um, Norway and all them, Belgium, Germany, we don't know. We haven't heard of any stores like that in your area. Um, maybe uh, you guys can find that out. Let us know so that we can uh, let people, other people know. Um, what else? What other questions was asked about, you know, can we get them and where and um well, mostly online <laughs> yeah and it depends on where you are if they they'll send them to you yes there is other type of diapers that other companies like uh, snuggies and all them snuggies do not ship to canada otherwise we would test out those diapers um we can get diapers from japan I'm very weary about getting diapers from uh, China because of how they do their business practices uh, with diapers. They've been known to use uh, diapers that have already been used. They open them up, take the fluff that uh, is not uh, used, and they think it's safe just because they... Um, I had to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> just because... The fluff that's not used, they, and they, they say they wash them and then dehydrate them again, put them to its regular or original state of the polymer, uh, they think it's safe. And it's not safe. And um, I do know that the Chinese Communist government has shut those ones down, but still I kind of want, you know, I, I, I'm weary about it. Let us know if you guys have used their um, used diapers from China. Uh, let us know what you guys think about them. You know, I'm not saying it's because they're Chinese or anything. I'm not racist. I have great friends that are Chinese. I was in Hanzhou, China for three years uh, learning martial arts at a Shaolin temple. Um... You know, I would love to be able to get diapers from that area to show you guys. There's even the Hello Kitty ones that you can get in uh, Japan and other uh, uh, patterns. Again, unfortunately, I will not be getting diapers from Alibaba. There's too many uh, counterfeits and everything else, and they sell nothing but trash. So buyers be wary about Alibaba. Um, so if anybody wants us to turn around and get stuff like that to really show a big humongous, uh, area of the diapers that has prints on them, uh, you know, we're going to have, to, you guys are going to have to send us the money because it's not cheap to get those diapers imported. Um, 
you need to buy at least uh, I think uh, three or four units just to uh, just for them to be worth sending to us and three or four units is like 400 600 diapers and we, right now we we're just not in that financial situation so you would have to send the money uh, for things that you want us to test. Otherwise, we do it just just for the curiosity of it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> a lot of people were also asking, why do I uh, do a lot of the explanations? Well, it's not that my wife... Um... Oh, by the way. That's where my kitty cat goes in whenever she's just annoyed or not being paid attention to or just sulking or just wants to rest. The white one is probably on the bed right now or underneath the bed. We had a heck of a morning and heck of a night. Really, really bad hard night. But remember, happiness is a choice. Make it a good one. Well, as I was, oh, as I was going to say, the reason that I do a lot of the explaining is Catherine is an introvert, but it's also hard for her to explain things. She's very smart. I love her. She's my queen. I've been lately calling her my baby queen squirt, but <laughs> she is my queen. And uh, I love her greatly. You know, I've never, uh, it's been a long time since I've seen a genuine smile on her face. So that's how I know uh, she's truly, our, truly is happy. Um, mm -hmm. I don't hear her crying herself to sleep at night anymore. Well, she was when outside family was giving us trouble. Uh, that's all I'll say in that area. I love respect and privacy for um, the relatives. Because they already think that I don't respect them, but God bless them. Um... She's been accused of want. She's been accused of having Stockholm syndrome. She's been accused of being uh, abused, and everything else. <clears throat> and um, and I'm not. I know what it's like. To be around a very abusive uh, people. I love my mother, God rest her soul, but she was a sociopath. Um, anyways, um, I would never hurt my wife, uh, <laughs> in any way, shape or form. She has chosen to live a biblical wife. As a biblical wife, I did not go to her. I did not tell her to. I did not. I didn't even want to. And she'll tell you that. Um, Derek, can you, I know this is supposed to be a diaper review, but can you just tell them uh, a little bit about how that came to be? But you um, decided to be a biblical wife. God told me to. 
Yeah, but how? Like, what were we doing? I forget now. Like, w uh, weren't you, weren't we at a service at church or something and you yeah, were praying or so. something? The guy told you, to, told you to come to me or something? Something like that. It's been so long. <laughs> yes, it's been so long. <laughs> But why do you, um why do you think that I didn't want to teach you or go by training you to be a biblical wife? Like you requested to do. Probably because you knew what it was going to take. And how I would be at first. Tell them what you were like with authority. <laughs> I didn't like authority. I was rebellious and everything else. What else, dear? What did I tell you to do? To read up on it. Was it just the biblical stuff I told you to read or even the secular stuff and everything else about biblical wives? All of it. Say that again. All of it. Did you do it? <laughs> I browsed, read some, yeah. But you didn't realize what it really took? No. Like she didn't really study it. Like she only looked at it. She just kind of, um, glared at it you know it, it, she she didn't research it like i told her to um so anyways i i turned around i took it to prayer and god said yes do it And I can promise you, it, um, <laughs> it was a nightmare for me to teach her. Rebellion was not the word for it. I mean, she fought me every millimeter of the way, every micrometer, every... <laughs> to the point where she got so stubborn and pig-headed she was making choices in the marriage that put us on the streets uh, put us in housing that pretty much killed us 
because I wasn't going to take authority in the marriage until she was ready to give me that authority. Because I knew if it wasn't her choice to do it, um, there could be more trouble than what it's worth. And a wise man knows when to pick its ba- pick his battles and when not to, to just let us let it uh, play out. And um, it. It took a while, uh, close to nine years, just for her to uh, uh, go under my authority, uh, have me lead the household. Since then... I'll let her tell you. Husbands are the head of the household. I know that's not popular with with women. But I don't treat her like a slave. I don't beat her. I don't uh, control everything she's doing or whatever. You know? No, he doesn't. I let her go places. I... (laughs) If I can afford it, I get what she needs. You know, she is a hoarder, so I do have to uh, put my foot down on a lot of things. She doesn't like it. She has a tincture tantrum sometimes and pouts like a little girl. Like a little girl. (laughs) But that's the facts. A lot of people, the reason I've been doing this is asked us on Facebook and everything else about this. So there you have it. I gave her every opportunity, every excuse to... Um, to change her mind. But she was determined. And trust me, when Catherine is determined about something, um, let's just say fighting a tiger and winning would be more feasible than to stop Catherine from doing what she wants. Trust me on that. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, I fought a bear in hand-to-hand combat, which, by the way, I don't recommend. It's just I had no other choice. Maybe I'll uh, get into that one day. <laughs> Thank God it wasn't a uh, an adult, full adult bear. It was just a adolescent, between adult and adolescent, a teenage bear. But they can still kill you, and they can. <clears throat> You know, they're still about 200, 400 pounds. So don't do it. Um, Anyways. um, Getting off track. There's the treat and the reviews. If you're still listening, thank you. Subscribe. Tweet it. Share it. uh, Like it. It really helps the channel. Any more questions, please ask. But again, keep the sexual comments uh, clean or whatever because this is a safe channel. God bless. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. And remember, happiness is a choice. Make Make it a good one. one.